Hello, I'm Indy, and welcome to another part of my Rayman 2 playthrough. In the previous video we stopped right here, in the middle of the bayou level, so we'll just continue on, shall we? What do we have here? Is the warship still following? Not that I can see. But he might be right uh, around the bend there. So let's continue on. In the previous video I mentioned that this is still pretty linear. And I was wondering what kind of platformers you guys like more. The 2D ones, the 3D ones, the more linear ones, the more open world ones. I always thought that um, the PlayStation ones were a bit more linear and then I thought about Crash Bandicoot. But, and the Nintendo 64's one a bit more open world. Thinking about Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie. I never had a PlayStation, so that later on I realized that that assumption was wrong. So, what kind of games do you prefer? These more linear ones like Rayman 2, or games like Ratchet and Clank, or a bit more open, with a bit more open levels. I enjoy them all the same, to be honest. Sometimes I'm more in the mood of a more open world game, sometimes a bit more linear. So I don't really have a preference. Let's see, why do we have this platform here? Nothing I can see. They are making it a bit more difficult though. That was lucky. Branching parts again. Let's have a look. Ooh, scary tree. Here's the switch. Let's go into the mouth. Okay. I can't seem to kill this one. Just a wild guess, but I think I can't get, can't get hit by those axes this time. Ah, I didn't make it? Ah, okay. Just, just in time. A way up. Probably a way down too, but it leads to the same place, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, it leads just back up. Okay. Okay, I already have mo most of the cages. And that sounds like it's getting to the end of the bayou level. Let's see. I still hear another one, so yeah, let's see if I can find it one. I can hear him. 
very small. There it is. There we go. Oh, and it just gave me some extra life bar. Okay, so I don't have to go into a bonus level for that. Okay, the game just gives it to me also. Interesting. Yes, yes, open up the level already. Oh, this was a bit of a shorter level, wasn't it? Thankfully I missed a couple of lumps, so I don't have to do the bonus level. Of course I want to save, why wouldn't I want to save? The Sanctuary of Water and Ice, ooh. That sounds fun. Let's continue on. What do we have here? Welcome back, Rayman. So, did you guys figure it out? Are you the real king? They are a bit more organized. <laughs> Council Chamber of the Teensies. From here we can let you enter other worlds, but that will demand a lot of energy. Okay. Thankfully I have enough lumps. A new world. In a later video I will talk about uh, many different versions of this game and one of these other versions has real speech instead of this gibberish. I tend to enjoy the gibberish a bit more to be honest but both are fine. It's mostly only a problem when the voice acting is really bad and when you are used to the gibberish. So we are now in another level. Okay. Right off the bat we get another cage. Oh, I didn't realize that was an enemy. Now, we are in another world, but they are still pirates. And this one seems to be a bit tricky to hit. Okay, got him. This does remind me a bit of a power-up in Mario Galaxy. One of my favorite platformers. Yeah, the invincibility frames make this go on longer than needed. But it isn't too bad. I have a nice little beach here. And I missed some lumps. I'll go back for them. Yeah. Don't go swimming in this water. Thankfully, the game is still very forgiving. Let's go up here. This level 
feels a bit more relaxed than the previous one. I can go into the water, I can go up here, let's see what we have here. I hope it doesn't cut off the way back. I hate it when games do that. They give you a left path or a right path and when you pick the wrong one you can't go back. I hate that. So let's just hope that isn't the case here. That looked like there was a checkpoint back there so I will do this water port first. If I can remember how to swim. There we go. Underwater cave with a cage. So this was the secret way. Oh, and I already have both of the cages here. Okay. When I read the title, The Sanctuary of Water and Ice, I thought it was. I thought this was going to be a big temple level or something like that, but it appears to be another rather small one. Jump up! Why isn't he going up? Oh. That was the entrance I think, yes. That's probably the entrance to the sanctuary. Some strange pyramids here, a blue one and an orange one. I need some explosion, exploding barrels. Same here. And here we go. Ah, it isn't so bad. I know I said it before, but it's really fun to play this. This is a really fun game. I guess I have to find something to put in or on the pyramids. Ah. Here it is. A magic sphere. Okay, it works the same as the battles. Thankfully he walks rather fast enough with this thing on his back. It's very annoying in games when you have to carry something and they just walk so slowly, but this is fine. Okay, pretty easy. Let's open the last door here. I wonder if I get hit by the explosion. No, okay. Orange one or the yellow one. And I would think that that would be the end of the level. Not sure though. Let's see. Ooh. 
much behind door number one. Some more lumps up there, let's go get them. the end of this part and I will continue this level in a later video I hope you enjoyed it the music sounds tense Ooh, I am intrigued but it will have to wait for the next video hope you enjoyed it leave a comment subscribe and I will see you next time goodbye